Next is The Lotus Effect by Trisha Wolf. It's a little outside of my usual genres as it's a crime investigative one. And it's about a woman who survives something horrific. She helps solve cold cases, but she's not able to solve her own. And it looks like this particular story, we're going to dive into what that attack was and perhaps find the people responsible for it. I do like a woman survivor revenge story. If you get like a woman who's gone through trauma, transformed because of it, and then is able to find justice either for herself or others, I am super down for that. Yeah, it's sitting in serial killer thrillers and romantic suspense. We don't love the romantic suspense here, especially with serial killers involved, but I would take my chances on this one. Next is going to be Haunting Adeline by H. H.G. Carlton. This is a little bit lower on my list now than it was before. I was looking for like something spooky and scary and have a couple like legit horror stories on the list where this is like a dark romance. And also I know that Happily For Now read this and she ended up rating it three stars but some of the things that she didn't like about it really turned me off and even some of the things that she did like didn't interest me. I still think I'm gonna get to reading it but it's a lot lower on the list than it was. To the Sky Kingdom by Tang Kui and translated by Poppy Toland. The cover is what got me to click on this book to start. Our main character, they meet a arranged marriage husband and thinks like everything's going to work out really well and an enemy comes to throw all that in jeopardy. It seems like there'll be political intrigue, there'll be some cultural elements, just a lot of things that I can really enjoy and dig my teeth into here. Next is The Best Girls Disorder Collection by Ni Jing Li. I mean, I'm into this story because it's like a girl power story, right? It's about the meaning of patriarchy and the cost of female silence through the eyes of a dutiful young girl. I'd love it if I read this and there was a twist on that classic narrative and it ended happily. But if it's just sort of like a sad ennui that really illustrates how patriarchy hurts both men and women and why it's bad for everyone and for family structure as a whole, I'm really down with that message and interested in getting this kind of reading experience. Next is going to be The Way the World Ends Warmer Collection by Jess Walter. So this is a short story part of a short story collection. This story is somehow going to both explore global warming and an unlikely relationship between two strangers. And I am very curious to see how that's executed in 42 pages. This is another Amazon original stories and it looks like just based off of the covers that these original stories are about combining two things that don't seem like they're connected. I don't really know because I stumbled into this particular collection but I I'm curious at least to read this first book and maybe to see a summary of what this collection is supposed to be about to see if I go further in it. This telling part of the Out of Line collection by Cheryl Strayed sounds fun to me because it's about the real history of this woman's life and the fictional account that she tells people about her life. And this is interesting both on like a personal level where people tell themselves or tell other people stories that are more flattering than the truth or that are more interesting and dynamic than the truth, you know, and then facing that truth and why that truth is unsavory, I find like emotionally really interesting. But I also like it because it can be applied more broadly to history. Like when we're reading historical texts, those stories were written by a culture and a people of a certain time with a certain set perspective. And it's only like one side of a multi-layered story. It looks like this is also an Amazon original story. The next one is by Roxane Gay, so I'm pretty interested in that one too. Next is The Best American Short Stories in 2018. And I know that I have this one specifically on the list because Roxane Gay has a short story in it. I'm not sure who else is here. So the Best American Series collection, some of them are available in Kindle Unlimited and some of them aren't. I'm pretty sure that these tabs all came about when I was looking for more short stories and short fiction. Next is The Virtual Life of Lexi Diamond by Victoria Foyt. So honestly my interest in this particular story is because number one it's on Kindle Unlimited. Number two Victoria Foyt is the author of this infamous book called Save the Pearls which is a racist teenage dystopian apocalypse story. Um, I will provide some links 
to reviews of the book. Part of me kind of wanted to read Save the Pearls just to see how bad it was. And then I realized that I would have to pay money and the book is fairly expensive and I'd be supporting her. Where if I read this on Kindle Unlimited, even though a certain portion per page will go to her, it's not going to be the same as if I directly bought the book. The other thing that's kind of interesting about this book is it's only available on Kindle Unlimited. The cover design on this book is interesting. It seems like Victoria Foyt hasn't learned anything about a cover design since Save the Pearls, which also has a pretty terrible cover. Um, not just that this picture is a little bit uninspired. It's dark with a vignette going on. I know we're supposed to be like focusing on, on the computer and we're talking about this girl on social media. Picture on the computer could have been more interesting and there were other ways to like get us focused on the computer without making everything kind of boring and muted in the front. Also there's like three different fonts in use for this title and you can use multiple fonts and have it work but it's not working here. It's really just like super random. The summary on this story is a little bit chaotic. I can tell that the story is meant for like middle grade to early and young adult. It's definitely about a girl who's going through some upheaval and tragedy. Based off of Victoria Voigt's general history, I'm going to assume that she's trying to say something about social media or online life. And also based off of her track record, I'm going to say she totally doesn't understand what she's trying to comment on. And that is finally going to be all of the books that are on my TBR. I want to thank you guys if you've watched one of these videos or all of these videos I really appreciate your time have you read any of the books I've mentioned let me know in those comments down below maybe help me figure out which one of these books I should move to next thanks for watching and as always keep reading bye